What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. And smash the like button and share the video, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a little bit dark out here, but I'm standing outside. The weather is good, bro. This is good weather right here. Anyway, here's the latest scoop on Tim Sue. Instead of him fighting Keith Thurman, he is fighting Sebastian Fundora. Let me give you a little backdrop about fat Sebastian Fundora. He got knocked out by Brian Mendoza around the seventh round. You know what I'm saying? And he's six foot six, B. Six foot six. 154 pounds, six foot six, dude. He's a string bean. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could put his, your, your hand right through his stomach. And here's my problem with that pick. My problem with that pick is, even though he's standing, he's coming in to take the fight, I commend him for that. But he's an inside fighter. This dude is as tall as Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, B. He's supposed to be wearing like 200-something. You know what I'm saying? But instead, he's that small. Now, y'all tell me, is an inside fighter not tailor made for Tim Sue? He's tailor made for Tim Sue, y'all. You know what I'm saying? He has no jab. He likes to go and throw uppercuts and, and, and exchange with you. You cannot exchange with Tim Sue like that, B. At all. You just can't. You know what I'm saying? If you do, guess what? You gonna feel bad. Look here. I think. I, I just kind of feel bad for Tim Sue because he's trying to get a big fight and instead he's not. Because Sebastian Fudora is not a big fight to me, B. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't proven himself. Now if he if he if he can beat Tim Sue, he will. And if he had a jab and he had movement, he can possibly give Tim Sue some problems. But he don't have none of that. He's an inside fighter. You know what I'm saying? He like to mix it up in there. Tim Sue is going to have a field day with that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And look, how many weeks notice do we got? Like two? Yeah, Tim Sue might not know nothing about him, but Tim Sue will figure him out. I'm pretty sure they're looking at the footage right now that they've been looking at the footage. It's not much to really see. I'm telling y'all that straight up. Now let's get on old Keith Thurman. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be the devil's advocate here. Because, uh, Mr. Keith Thurman, what happened to all that preserving yourself stuff, B? <laughs> Don't seem like you preserved yourself that much. Because you got injured. Or is it just you got too much mileage? Which one is it? You know what I'm saying? I think it's a combination of both of them. You know? Oh, yeah, I've been preserving myself, you know? And all of a sudden... In training, you get injured. Or are you pulling a Jamel Charlo? Did your wife come up to you and say, No, honey, I don't want you to go out there and fight Tim Sue. He's dangerous. He might give you brain damage. You know what I'm saying? You're not what you used to be anymore, honey. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> anyway, my point is, is that, you know, uh, I don't know, man. We don't know. We don't know if he's injured or not. This all could have just been talk. You know what I'm saying? For him to get a little, a little, a little, a little, a little fame for himself off of Tim Sue and go fight somebody else. For, for all we know, that's what it could be. Because these guys don't like the show proof. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know, I'm going to watch the fight between Tim Sue and Sebastian Fundora. I'm looking for Tim Sue to put on a, a classic, classic behind kicking you know what i'm saying you know just break them down and chop down that tree the string beam y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section or be signing out peace